about the wheel. We'd go in downtown in the middle of the night. We're laughing and I'm joking and we're feeling all right. Oh, I bet I'm nationwide. Yes, I bet. Hello everyone, Gilbert here. Welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. Just uh, an update on uh, something I've been working on. Um, of course, just uh, if you see it over my left shoulder there, Nigel Wells, North Africa Group Build. That's the SDK KFZ 222 Panzer Spa Wagen. Um, and it's got also a flat, um, excuse me, yeah, this little flat gun that I had done with it. And I'm going to start working on weathering this up and beating the shit out of it. Excuse my language. But just weathering it up. I had mentioned earlier that I was going to put that little green camouflage stripe in there. And I thought, yeah. So, or maybe, I still might do it. I don't know yet. I'm on the fence on that. But uh, there are seven figures that are going to go on this diorama. And I've been dreading doing it. I didn't want to do it. Um, figures to me is like pulling teeth, man. I, I, I'm not good at them. I've only done one. And that was, excuse me, I'll show you. That was this guy right here. And it leaves much to be desired, if you can see his face there. Um, oh, Moshe here. I mean, it. I guess it came out okay. I mean, I, some folks, well, let me see if I get this light. There you go. Some folks said it came out okay. Um, I don't know. Could have been better. But anyway, I had been uh, tiptoeing around them and trying to avoid it. But in order to finish this diorama the way I'd like to finish it, you know, this little Cecil B. DeMille, you know, Universal Studios production <laughs> production I'm doing, you got to get them done. So the other day I was sitting there and I, I, I'm, we were all talking on Google Plus, uh, Steve Clover and Cross, uh, Chris C.K. Philly. Sheldon S. Roth, 88. Philip uh, Baltazar. I believe uh, Jamie Waring was in the room with us. We were all just, you know, throwing around. And Steve, I tell Steve, man, he says, what are you doing? I said, man, I don't know, man. I, I, and I'm sitting here doing this, and I got a couple of bills here, but I'm not motivated, but I have these figures sitting in front of me that I got to get done. He says, Gilbert, just do them, man. Just damn do them, you know. So... You know, with a few tips from that brother, because he's a phenomenal figure painter, and Chris and them, you know, I started doing it. They still need a little bit of work. I still need to smooth out the faces and stuff, but I, I'd like to show you guys what I've done, you know, and um, you guys tell me if I'm on the right track, man. Uh, I really like doing these figures. Um, uh, I like the process of it. It's just the intricacies of the brush, you know, you you, you airbrush, you know, the, I, I use the airbrush and stuff, but then you go in with the... Uh, here, let me show you guys. There's enough of this, and let me show you guys. Get All right, back. so here I am right now. Let me zoom in a little bit, and there they are. I still have to do the khaki clothing on these three guys, but let me show you guys. Whoop! I'm on focus, and I, you know I hate when this thing does that. It doesn't focus. Excuse me, guys. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There it is. Started with the faces. I got this guy done. Um, I still need to put a little bit, a few highlights in there, you know, in his clothing. Um, this guy here, I still need to fix around his eyes, put some eyebrows, you know, do a little bit more, you know, smoothing and transition. Got to get his eyes fixed a little bit. Um, this guy doesn't have any eyes because he's got his goggles over his face, so I still need to put a strap on that, paint the goggles and all that. So there's this cat right here, you know, He's like a little Taliban dude there. Um, this guy here, he has, um, I wasn't really con too concerned about the face because he has a, uh, he's looking through a sight, he's holding it up, but I did it anyway. You'll still be able to see some of his face. This guy here, you know, same thing, got his face. You know, just doing a little work. I still got to go in with a few little shadows and stuff, but I still need to dry brush, you know, around the creases and stuff so I can get some highlights. I got to get the boots done. 
So like this guy right here, he's got a watch on. There's a couple of them that have a watch on, so I need to go in there and, you know, paint that up. Um, this guy here, he has a set of binoculars, so you're really not going to see his face, but I painted it anyway. You know, I still, like I said, I still need to weather them up a little bit. You know, go and do all the little detail painting. I added his little binocular case there, you know, and then over here, you know, his little sidearm. Um, this guy here, he's just standing around saying, well, what's up, what's up? I still need to go in again, fix up his face a little bit, you know, add some more, a little bit more shadows and some eyebrows and smooth them out a little bit. And then the gunner on the flak, you know, I still need to go in and clean him up a little bit more. And again, they still need some dry brushing. They still need a wash on them. Still need to get the boots done. But yeah, this is, um, here, let me zoom back out. There we go. That's where I'm at at the moment, guys. Um, I'm letting these dry because uh, before I shoot any any future on them, because um, I want to I want to put a coat of future on them before I start with the dry brushing. But before I do that, I still need to um, go in and blend them up a little bit. You know the the highlights and stuff like that. You know, I mean these are these. It's pretty interesting, you know, uh, doing figures. Um, I'm at a premium for space here, so I'm at the point now where, where I'm going to start building. I'd like to do these, you know, like with the Warhammer stuff and all that. And just little figures like this, you know. I, I, I really like those. You know, they, they really look pretty cool. They come out really nice. But that's them. They're getting there. Um, like I said, uh, today I'm going to start working on the this guy, their clothing. And I believe it, um, I did some research and these guys wore like a little camouflage kind of uh, khaki kind of clothing. Um, and then I'll go in there and weather them up a little bit and make it look. Same thing with these guys. I mean, that's um, XF50, but it looked a little too dark, and that's what it called for. So what I'm going to do is I'll go in there with uh, and lighten it up and then just, you know, scuff it up a little bit and make it look like they've been out in the sun. Same thing with their helmets. i got to dry brush some stuff on there. But um, I started to add highlights, as you can see on the pants there, a little bit. And then I'll go in with on, in certain other spots and then highlight those a little bit more, you know, in certain areas. I still got the little, like the little on their shoulders here, their epaulets. I got to do um, their little, the German uh, the eagle there, um, their buttons, their belt buckles, you know, the belt. Um, back here, I got the pouch clip that I added, you know, for their rifles. I still got to add the rifles. I'm needing to find some uh, some lead some thin lead. I have some, but not enough, you know, to make uh, straps and stuff for their rifles and things. So, that's it right now, guys. Let me know what you think. Be right back. So, started doing that. I was also, I'm doing a Stuka here. Um, this is the Ravel Stuka, um, 148. It's also, it's the reboxing from Mahasagawa. Um, got it from Freddy. But as I was going over it, it's missing a few pieces. There's a little glass piece that goes down here that's missing. And it's missing that piece right there. So I, I don't, I'm going to see if I have a piece like that somewhere in another kit that I can throw in there. I don't know if I do, but if not, I'm going to see if I can get a hold of uh, Ravel to see if they'll send that out. Um, I, I need to do some cleanup work on the guns here. Um, as far as the seam lines, you know, do a little cleaning up there. I was doing that with the seams here. I got some Mr. Surfacer in there, and I was starting to sand it down, so we'll see how that looks. I still need to add a little bit more. Here, let me show you what the cockpit looks like. All right, right guys, back. there's, let me get up underneath the light here so you guys can see. There's the cockpit. Um, if I could, here, let me try to zoom in a little bit more. And you guys can see a little better. There's the cockpit. I got that all got it in there. Man, those decals in there were a pain, man. They, they, they just, they are thick. But I got them to lay down real good, thanks to Freddie. Freddie, you know, he, uh... Told me how he did his, and and you know I I I was already doing it, 
but he gave me a few tips here and and it seemed to work pretty good um so you know i ended up having to use put about six coats of that salva set on there to get those to lay down you know i painted those up there um I, this is a resin seat that i got on sprue brothers um i got one for freddie also so i got that here let me get that in there a little bit more here let me turn this light on maybe this will be a little better yeah these are right there see though those are resin seats there and it comes with those uh there with that uh with the seat belts on there i had to you know you got to clean out all those little holes in there so you can get a little you know just so you can see through it um there's the radio boxes there and i don't know if you can see that cockpit in there but i got that all in there you know laid them down real good and i painted some knobs and stuff on there as you can see, there's the other side there. Painted that up a little bit. Painted those little knobs that go on the other side there, you know, for the throttle and stuff. But that seat is really nice, man. It wasn't really expensive. If you guys got this kit on Squad or Sprue Brothers, they got this. I think it was like six bucks for that seat and for that seat. Both of those come in there. So that's the cockpit. But as you can see, you know, I did a right here. Those two halves joined together, and I have to go in there a little bit more so I can get that uh, that seam line out of there. So I'll put a little bit more Mr. Putty in there, or I'm sorry, um, Mr. Surfacer in there and let it dry and then sand it down. But uh, And then I had to rescribe this around it. <clears throat> but uh, so far, so good. Again, the only problem is this is on hold now because I got to find that piece for the wing because without it, you know, it's missing a few parts, so without those pieces, it's going to look pretty stupid. So, give me a second here, and I'll be right back. So, that's my update. Um, the other thing is, uh, if you guys are into, yeah, I see these uh, these face painting sets, you know. I picked up this one, you know, from Vallejo. And it's got your basic sets in there. I mean, I'm sure you can pick up other ones. But this is not too bad because it comes with everything you need, you know, the Vallejo paint. Um it's got them all in there here let me show you let me open that up it's got all the paints you need for for face for faces i have a few other ones you know if i want to darken up you know with some highlights like what i'm going to go with these but this is pretty good man this is your basic set here and it's not too bad man so that's where i'm at now by the way i um started using my infinity and i think i'm going to have to play with the settings on it because uh I'm noticing that my Vallejo paint gums up in here really quick. Now, this is a .4 in there, needle in there, and it still gums up real good. So I'm going to have to play with the, adjust the settings on it. Um, but it's a damn good airbrush. Uh, beautiful. Fits good in the hand everything. It's just uh, I'm noticing that my, my paints are just, you know, I'm going to have to work with the settings. You know, what I, what I normally do with this one, I'm finding I cannot do with this one. So if I'm going to use my Infinity, I have to, uh, the harder and steam back, I have to thin them a little bit more for some reason. Don't know if it's the settings or not, but I'll work it out. Um, once I got, the other day, I got the settings real nice, man. It sprays beautifully. It just sprays beautifully. But um, that's it. That's my update for now, man. Um, hope you guys' weekend was uh, was good. I hope you enjoyed your weekend with your families. Uh, just, you know, overall, you know, enjoyed the weather we've been having out here lately. So. Until our next update, I'll show you guys um, when I start painting the other three figures with uh, khaki, I'll make a video on that. Um, maybe a little later on tonight as I start working on the rest of them, show you guys my process. So until then, man, it's Gilbert saying, see ya, man. You guys have a good one, and uh, until our next update, later, Gators.